hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video i am going to tell you how to install kali linux on virtual box so friends it's very easy to install kali linux on virtual box in last video we have seen how to install kali linux on uh, vmware so now we'll see kali linux installation on virtual box so let's see so friends let me show you first we have to download Kali Linux image, then we will download VirtualBox image and then Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Okay, we required here three image. Okay, we have to download this. So let's go to download first Kali Linux image. So you can see Kali.org. Go to Kali.org here. Now click here to get Kali. Now select here environmental recommended. Now friends, in my case, my PC is, my Windows PC is 64 bit, okay. If your PC is 32 bit, you can download it 32 bit. And if you want to install on Apple MacBook, then you have to select this. So friends, I am going to install 64 bit, okay, because I have a 64 bit Windows. So, installer image, okay, click here to download. Now you can see it's downloading here. Now friends, to download. VirtualBox image, we have to go to virtualbox.org here. Okay, now click here download, or you can click here to download. Now you can see we can download for Windows host, OS, Mac OS, Linux. Okay, so I have to download for Windows. Just click here to download. Okay, now we have to download. Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. We have to download this extension. Now click here to download here. Now friends, you can see we have downloaded three files. Kali Linux extension pack. Okay. Now third file is VirtualBox image here. So friends, our first step will be we have to install VirtualBox. Okay. On my Windows PC. Yes. yes. Double click on it and click on next. Next. Next yes proceed with the installation now click on yes now click on install no installing here now click on finish now friends you can see installed virtual box installed successfully now friends we have to install extension pack go to preference now select here extension then click on plus icon here you can see add new package now select package extension pack now click on open now click on install here agree click on i agree install now click on ok now friends we have done virtual box installation now we have to create virtual machine click here to new click on new to create new virtual machine now type provide name here kali linux type is linux okay now click on next now we have to provide ram size here so i am giving ram here 2 gb so let's i can give 4 gb here okay i have 32 gb ram so i can give 4 gb ram next we have to select here create a virtual hard disk now click on create now select VDI virtual box disk image. Now click on next. So I want dynamic. Okay, click on next. So you have to select hard disk size. So I'm giving here 16 GB hard disk size. Now click on create. So friends, you can see we have created virtual machine. Now we have to do settings. Okay. Now go to system. Now you can see I have provided 4 GB RAM. Now click on processor here, so you can see we have a 12 CPU, so we have to provide here 2 CPU minimum, okay. Now go to storage and select here controller ID, we have to select here MPT, now select live CD DVD and choose here your path, where is your ISO downloaded image, okay, you can see. This is my downloaded file here. Just select here and click on open. 
now click now click on ok now we have to power down this machine just right click and you can power on start or you can start from here just click on start and now installation begin so you can see graphic install press enter here installation started here select language english now click on continue now select your country okay then click on continue now select your language keyboard american english now click on continue detect network hardware configure the network so friend now provide your host name now click on continue now domain name so i don't have any domain name so i will going to continue configuring your username for account technet now provide the password here for your user confirm password now you have to select your zone okay click on continue detect this partitioning this now you have to select use entire disk okay click on continue now click on continue again so friend you can see all file in one partition recommended for new user click on continue so now you can see this is my root partition okay now i have to select here finish partitioning and write change to disk now click on continue select yes write change to disk select yes now click on continue now install the base system here now friends here you can select genome so you can leave it as it is so i am selecting here genome now click on continue now installation begin here okay now select here gdm now click on continue so friend now it's asking install the grub bootloader to primary drive now we have to select yes and then click on continue now you have to select here drive and then click on continue now it's installing grub loader now finishing the installation now friends you can see installation is completed okay now click on continue here now it's finishing the installation now it's booting now you can see kali linux genu linux okay now it's booting here now friends you can see login prompt now just click here to username now provide your password now friends you can see we have logged in in successfully so friend you can see this is my kali linux operating system we have logged in successfully just click here to enter terminal so you can see we are in terminal here this is our applications features of kali linux okay so we can see how to install kali linux in virtual box so so friend you can see i am able to access the internet okay so first i have to update this now run command here sudo apt update okay password here type password now it's updating now we have to run command sudo apt upgrade okay to upgrade this now it's upgrading type y to upgrade it will take some time to upgrade here so friends it will import all features of kali linux okay upgrade its features here now upgrade is done now it's progress to install okay restart service during package 
now you can select yes okay now it will restart the services of the package so now friends we can see we have successfully upgraded here okay now let's see how to how to set password for root here now type here sudo apt install kali root root dash login now press enter here now type new password for root now set password for root sudo pass wd press enter now set password here for root okay now we can see password updated successfully now we can log in with root okay type root press enter then type password here so let's check you can see root at the red column okay so friends in this video we have seen how to install kali linux on virtualbox windows 10 so thanks for watching this video have a nice day